On the news tonight at five o'clock, the mother of a student who was stabbed at Banneker High School today this evening has urged teens to stop the violence. Her son is one of two students wounded in the knife attack. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live at Grady Hospital where the teens are being treated tonight. Deidre. And Deidre and Jordan's mother told me that uh, police said her son and the other wounded teen were not the intended targets. And she now joins others in the community calling for an end to the senseless violence. Deidre and Jordan's mother tells Fox 5 her son is being treated in Grady's ICU and will spend the next few days in the hospital. He is okay. He does have some, some injuries that are a little bit more serious than we expected, but Dejan is a survivor. He's a fighter. He's going to be just fine. The 15-year-old Banneker High School student and another teen were stabbed during an altercation on campus Wednesday morning. And we're going to just keep him lifted and stay positive. Concerned parents raced to the scene as word of the stabbing spread. Oh, we've been locked out. I'm getting, I'm getting two-sided information. A student described the chaotic scene. It was on the end of the club and stuff, and then there was like, come to Red Hall, Red Hall. And then, then we had moved to the other room, and it was like, oh, we were locked out, locked out. A Fulton County Schools spokesperson issued a written statement saying, this morning at approximately 9 a.m., two students sustained non-life-threatening injuries in an altercation involving a stabbing on campus. Three students were taken into custody. Travis Barber mentors youth in Atlanta and says area residents, the school system, and others must work together to stop the violence. When I got the phone call that someone was injured and I found out it was my people, you know, that really just really upset me even further to know that we have to do something as the public to stand in the gap and make this the last time that this happens. Dadrian's mother thankful no one was killed. It's a better way to do this. It's a better way to handle your problems. There's a better way to seek help if you need it. You know, you don't have to turn to the wrong thing. And Mr. Barber tells me that working through his organization, he plans to step up his efforts and try to bring others on board in an effort to turn things around. Live at Grady Hospital, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. You can understand that mother's frustration. Deidre, thanks.